Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about heat treatment processes for the steels. So before the starting of the heat treatment process, there will be the general layout of the heat treatment process chart. So basically that will be related with the iron carbon diagram for the up to the 2% of the carbon is being present into the steels because heat treatment processes that will be applicable onto the steels. So we are only considering up to the uh, temperature range of the 1130 into the iron carbon diagrams and the weight percentage of the carbon that will be up to the 2% because steel is nothing but it will be the up to 2% of the carbon is being present with the iron. So you can say that it will be the hypoeutectoid steel eutectoid steel and hyper eutectoid steel so if you want to learn in details for that hypoeutectoid steel eutectoid steel or you can say 0.8 percentage carbon steel or you can say hyper eutectoid steel so you will find a link in my description box so just you can see it will be the similar to our iron carbon diagram so above 723 it will be the formation of gamma austenite or you can say that will be the 100% solid phase of the steels at just above the 723 degree centigrade. So as for the iron carbon diagram, so this 910 to these lines that will be known as a EC3 temperature line or you can say upper critical temperature line. So after this austenite it will be converting into the alpha ferrite phase and according to the solubility of ferrite with the carbon at higher temperature so here that will be the point of 0.025 percentage of carbon so that will be having a hundred percent solubility to make a single solid phase so that will be known as a alpha ferrite and one more that will be the acm temperature line so at this temperature line this gamma austenite it will be start to converting into the cementite phase so that will be around 1130 temperature line or you can say ACM temperature line and one more temperature line is there at around 723 degree centigrade that will be the AC1 temperature line or you can say lower critical temperature line. So this all phases it will be before the 0.8 percentage of the carbon so that will be the formation of alpha ferrite plus perlite at 0.8 percentage of the carbon we know that it will be the 100% perlitic structure and after that up to the 2 percentage of carbon it will be the formation of perlite plus cementite. So this point it will be 0.8 percentage of the carbon and 723 degree centigrade so that will be known as a eutectoid point. So the transformation converting from this line or you can say transformation it will be passing through this line so that will be the eutectoid steel formation. So now if you are increasing the properties of the normal steels either it will be the hypoeutectoid steel either it will be the eutectoid steel or it will be the hyper eutectoid steel you will performing the different heat treatment processes then and then you will enhancing the mechanical properties of the steels. So in this video I would like to explaining about tempering process which is followed by the hardening process. So that hardening process if you want to learn in detail so you will find a link in my description box. So right now we will discussing with the tempering process. So basic purpose of the tempering that will be the high carbon steel is quenched for the hardening into the bath. So basically it becomes the hard extra brittle and has unequal distributions of the stresses. So what happens into the structure so there will be the unequalness of the hardness and the toughness is being present into the microstructure view. So this extra hardness and brittleness unwanted induced stresses strain that will be need to remove and it will be making a more uniform structure. So that will be having a good enough property in terms of the hardness. So this tempering it will be helped to rearrangement of that hardened structure which will be 
making into the water quenching process. So this tempering process always followed by the quenching process. So now we will see how we will select our different kind of tempering process. So basically tempering process that will be having a three types low temperature tempering process, medium temperature tempering process and high temperature tempering process. So basically which kind of weight percentage of the carbon is being present into the steels and the which kind of structure is being found into the water quenching process. So according to the changes required or you can say that according to the grain refinement required onto the water quench structures it will be having the three different category of the tempering. So let us see. So just you can see if there will be the little bit changes is required into the quench structure so you will follow the low temperature tempering process. So into the low temperature tempering process what to do so that quench structure or you can say hardened structure once again it will be heated about the 200 degrees centigrade and then after it will be having a oil quench. So you will get the better structure than into the water quenching process. If there is a some kind of moderate kind of changes into the grain refinement is being required into the water quenching process. So in that case heated our material from 350 to around 450 degrees centigrade and it will be first slow cooling then it will be transformed to begin into the rapid cooling. So in the case of the medium tempering first then will be the slow cooling then after it will be having a rapid cooling. So by their slow cooling so there will be the good uniform structure you will find and it will be after the rapid cooling so it will be having a good hardness. Into the third category if there will be the some more changes is being required so what happens? So heated your materials above the 450 degree centigrade up to the 550 degree centigrade then it will be followed by the slow cooling onto the steels. So by these three different kind of tempering process performing onto the steels and it will be the grain refinement it will be onto the hardened steels. So which will be having a better property as compared to the quenching process. So basically this process it will be used to relieve the internal stresses inducing into the quenching process. Eliminate the retained austenite to form the stable phase reducing the hardness or you can say improve the toughness and ductility into the steel structure. So into the simple way tempering process it will be always followed by the hardening process. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.